I, I should talk about something actually that's important to most people out there. Okay. As, as most of you know, folks, this has been a very tough week for Microsoft and its chairman, Bill Gates. That's probably the biggest story of the week. Yeah, let's all pity the man. On Monday, on Monday, a U.S. district judge ruled that Microsoft was guilty of monopolistic practices. The ruling was a huge disappointment for Gates, and it might even lead to the breakup of his company. Uh, this is pretty serious. Microsoft stock prices plummeted mm -hmm. this week. Gates himself lost $12 billion this week. Yeah. It's been a while since I did that. Uh, <laughs> well, folks, we here at Late Night, we feel awful for Bill, who has worked so hard to bring all of us into the computer age. So I thought it would take a moment right now at the top of the show to cheer up Bill Gates. <laughs> Bill Gates got happy. happy right then. Bring him back, Liz. There he is. He's all happy. Look, Bill, you lost $12 billion. Oh. <laughs> but look, there's a nickel. Ah. I could have fun with that all day. Nickel? Which tells you about my life. <laughs> all right, we're going to cheer up Bill Gates right now because I'm told he's watching right now from his secret island hideout of course. in Seattle. He monitors all. He's watching Petting a White Cat. Look at the fool. Destroy mm -hmm. him. Uh, we're going to cheer you up right now, Mr. Gates. Bill, here's something that should really cheer you up. Even though you lost $12 billion this week, you are still incredibly rich. So cheer yourself up by buying something extravagant that you can easily afford. Like Africa. <laughs> or diamond nipples. A, a very special night with Queen Elizabeth, which I think he could afford that. She doesn't wow. come cheap. No, she doesn't. Now, Bill, here's another thing that should cheer you up. Did you know that whenever the government breaks up a monopoly, they provide really nice parting gifts? It's true. When they broke up Standard Oil in 1911, John Rockefeller got this great Presto Hot Air Popper. <laughs> when J.P. Morgan's railroad monopoly was busted up, he got these cool men's and women's huffy Santa Fe 10 speeds. Look at that. And Bill, you know, if they do break up Microsoft, you personally will receive this great super deluxe above ground pool. Wow. Look at him there. Look at that. Wait a minute. In that picture, where is his diamond nipples? Hey. Mm. Wow. See? You're, Even I pay attention. Yeah. You're feeding the internet guys to the punch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, come on, Bill. Uh, you got to cheer up. Even you have to be amused by the incredible irony of your situation. You're actually being punished for being too successful. That's extremely ironic. Well, to cheer you up, we're going to show you something even more ironic. It's a Great Dane peeing on today's Marmaduke cartoon. the height of irony. Yeah. You can't get more ironic. That's also, it's a great aim for a dog that big. Yeah. You gotta admit that. He does it on command, you mm -hmm. know. You know, this is gonna cheer you up too, Bill. Even if they break up Microsoft, you have such a magic touch that you can get into literally any business and still make a fortune. Here, here are our suggestions. You can sell uh, Gates green pepper chin rests. How about that? <laughs> or, and I'm sure that you can make a fortune on Gates's Batman glue traps. Take a look at this. Dude, Batman glue. I'm glad the camera was on you for that one. You can I'll be right over here, Andy. <laughs> Hold on, folks, you're gonna love this one. <laughs> or... What you got, pal? Or Bill Gates. You can get rich on Gates's Dogs and Humans Matchmaking Service. And I want a dog who's friendly, but not too friendly. A dog will respect the rules. He can't make a mess or go through the garbage. He'll get a bath every week. I won't... Hi, my name's John, and uh, I'm looking for a dog who likes to go to the park, go for a long walk. Gotta love that cute little doggy. Yes, you do. You can't be not laughing at that. 
right, here's another reason to cheer up, Bill. Microsoft stock did recover a little bit during the week here in America and overseas. There was a feeding frenzy, though, of people wanting to buy Microsoft in Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, actually, look at the Hong Kong Stock Exchange right now from Wednesday. This will cheer you up. Over, over here, we have bull and bear markets. They have ripped pants markets. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. That guy did well. Uh, here's something that should definitely cheer you up, uh, Mr. Gates. Your expensive legal team has a secret weapon that should help you in the appeals process. It's your lawyer, Bernie Teltzer, the Belch talking attorney. Ladies and gentlemen, of the jury, it's <laughs> no judge could rule against that man. <laughs> uh, now, come on, Bill. You really got to buck up. You're actually getting off easy compared to what the government did to Clippy, that annoying paperclip icon that pops up on your Microsoft Word software all the time. This is true. Their government's been pretty tough on Clippy. Uh, check out this uh, chilling footage of what the government did to Clippy earlier today. And finally, uh, Mr. Gates, it's true, you've been hit pretty hard this week, but you got to cheer up. At least you're not this guy. What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm doing fine. Stop. Ow! Hey! Stop. Ow! What are you doing? Shut up! Get off me! No, just shut up! Get off my bitch! Shut up! Ow! What the Hope hell? Hope you like honey, what? honey. Ow! What is this? Hey! Hey! Oh! him either. Oh, All right, well, that should cheer him up. Uh, we're going to take a little uh, break. Great show tonight, folks. we got a good one. Willem Dafoe's here, no doubt. Bonnie Hunt when we come back. Uh -huh.